When the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame inducts its 2018 class on Saturday, a Rockdale woman will be enshrined in the game's history. Liz Galloway McQuitter will be inducted as a trailblazer for her, her play in the former Women's Pro Basketball League in the late 1970s. She sat down with her own Curtis Quillen today. And Curtis, how did this league pave the way for the WNBA we know today? Well, guys, the WBL was the first viable women's professional basketball league in the country. It existed from 1978 until 1981 and now they'll be cemented into women's basketball history as trailblazers for the game. McQuitter says she got the call earlier this year after her former coach and some of her former teammates spent years campaigning for the WBL's inclusion in the hall. When I asked her if she ever saw this coming when she was a student at Rockdale High School, she said no, but she's thankful to have been able to give back to the game. She says did so much for her. We were really pioneers going to a frontier that we didn't know anything about. And we went all over the country to lay a template for, we did have enough consciousness about ourselves to know that we were laying a template for the future and hoped that it would catch on and survive. And survive it did. The Hall of Fame induction ceremony is Saturday night in Knoxville, Tennessee. Tonight at 10, we'll hear from McQuitter's high school coach, John Shoemake, who gives us some insight into what McQuitter was like when she played at Rockdale High. Guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, Curtis.